everybody. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I am Meg. And today I'm going to show you how to add textured wallpaper to a dresser. So let's get Okay, so here is the piece that I am going to be working on and I'm adding four looks of texture. Now texture can be anything is what I've learned along doing this makeover. It can look like texture, it can feel like texture, and I added four things to this piece. So first of all, I took off the hardware, which is the most important thing to do because you don't want paint underneath your hardware or on top. And I'm going to be replacing the hardware, so those had to come off. Now my first texture is going to be raw wood. Now I enjoy sanding. I know a lot of people don't like sanding, but I like sanding. <laughs> I know that sounds really weird, but I enjoy sanding. So I used an 80 grit sanding disc for the top and then for the sides as well. And the sides are quite difficult, I find, to remove that old stain, but I just used the edge of my orbital sander just to get inside those grooves. Now my second texture is going to be on the sides as you will soon see what I'm going to be doing. And I've done this to um, another piece in one of my other videos. You may have remembered if you saw it, but you'll see in just a bit what I'm going to do. As I was sanding on the one side of my um, of this piece, I went through the wood veneer, and it is wood underneath. This piece was really quite solid, but the underneath wood wasn't the same um, tone as the wood veneer. So what I did is I got my wood filler and my glove, had my glove on, and just smoothed the wood filler over that small area. Now I also did that on the other on the other side of this side as well. While that was drying, I then scuff sanded the entire piece. It did have these little patterns on that that were a little bit raised, so I sanded those really smooth and flat. So here is exactly what I was trying to explain earlier is what I'm doing. I'm adding stripes. Now stripes is a texture look. And this is my second texture part on, on this piece. So I'm just doubling up my tape because I didn't have the wide tape. And I'm just adding two pieces to make the stripes wider. On the other side where I put stripes and I had had the wood filler, what I did is I put the tape over the wood filler. So this is the side I was talking about. I got my sanding disc and wrapped it around a block, a sanding block, and just sanded the wood filler really smooth. And then I put the tape beside it. So I think I just said that I put the tape on the wood filler. <laughs> I didn't, I put it beside it because I'm gonna paint over those two sides that had wood filler on. That way you won't see it. Then I decided to sand the two top drawers. And sometimes my ideas as kind of form as I'm going along. I sort of knew what I wanted to do, but I wanted to add another look of texture to the top drawers. So I sanded them raw wood, which was my number one texture, because raw wood looks and feels very texturized, I think the word is. Now the main texture is the textured wallpaper. And so the buffet had these panels where they had little clips on them. And so what I did is I took off the panels and here you can see this is the panel and it was a little tiny bit warped. So what I did is I turned it around and glued, put glue on the other side so that the warped part would be would be facing in and it wouldn't look warped. And I'm just using wood glue 
to apply this textured wallpaper and this textured wallpaper I got from Lowe's in a really really big roll. I think they have a couple of designs with the textured wallpaper. You then lay the paper on top of the glue, make sure it's completely smooth. And then cut off any excess. But if you have panels like this, just keep a little bit of paper overlapping so that it can stick out the back just a little bit like this. And then I place both panels back in and then put the clips on making sure that the paper was sticking out a little bit and then I can just trim off any excess. So this is what it looks like so far. I've also taken out the drawers and I wrapped each drawer that's left in with plastic painter's tape. And as you can see here, I also taped the top and I put painter's plastic tape inside as well and in the panels just so that there wouldn't be any paint or, or primer inside at all. Now here I am just spraying gray bin one, two, three uh, by Zinzer. It's gray primer. And I'm using my sprayer just to spray that on. And I did two coats of the primer. Here I am just straining my paint and getting it ready. This is cottage paint and it's called Juniper and it's a, a very light blue and it's really pretty. So once my primer was done, I sanded where I could, not on the textured wallpaper, with 220 grit sanding paper. I then sprayed the entire piece with the blue paint and then this is my third or I should say the fourth, <laughs> the fourth texture part which is the stencil. So I used my roller just to roll on the juniper paint color onto this stencil onto just the two top drawers. These peel and stick stencils are so much fun. And there's so many designs as well that you can pick from. So as you can see here, I am now taking off the tape and you can see that these are beautiful raw wood stripes. So my four texture is the stripes, the raw wood, the textured wallpaper, and the stencil. And this is all considered texture. It gives a character, it gives dimension, it gives texture, and I had fun doing this piece and creating all of these elements. So for the top, which I have shown in many of my videos with raw wood, is so that the tannins don't come through orange when you top coat, I like to use beige paint just to give it a wash over the wood so that the paint is in between the wood and the top coat and that the orange won't come through. So once all that was done, the piece was ready to be top coated. And I'm using Country Chic Paints Clear Coat. Um, I actually, well, I said I use country sheet paint clear coat, but I'm actually using um, cottage paint varnish 
which was in my sprayer, so I'm just using what's in there. But I find when I'm brushing the top coat on, it gives a nicer or better sheen, like more of a shine to it, and that's what I wanted. And I prefer brushing it onto the raw wood. I think because when I'm spraying, the, the wood just sort of soaks it up somehow, um, and it doesn't give that same shine. And once I've top, to top coated the raw wood, I then sand very lightly with 320 or 400 grit sanding paper, or you can use a thousand sanding block as well. Now it's time to add the hardware, and I actually went quite out of my way to get this hardware because I wasn't able to find it online and I've used these before and so they were all out so I had to go to the store which is about an hour away and they are from Lee Valley and I will put those in my description as well. So here's what it looks like before and here's what it looks like now. So we've got stripes, textured wallpaper on the panels and a stencil on the drawers along with a raw wood top, raw wood drawers and a raw wood stripes as well. I think this piece turned out absolutely beautiful and it did sell right away and the new owner absolutely loves it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, comment and like this video and I will see you all next weekend, Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Take care.